if you're on a healthy journey and you're focused on that and the person that you're considering dating isn't, is that a red flag? What do you ladies really think? Um, I would say yes, if that's your preference. I mean, 40% of relationships last longer if you have wellness and fitness in common. And I always say, you know, when you're looking for your mate, especially if you're in the later years, you may be thinking about like, who's gonna have to take care of who? And mm -hmm. you first want someone to take care of yourself. Right. So I think that if you're on your wellness journey, they don't have to necessarily be doing the same things that you enjoy for fitness because obviously your body type and their body type may be totally different. However, you need to be true to what makes you whole and they need to be true to makes, what makes them whole. And if fitness is nowhere and wellness is nowhere in it, there's always going to be a disconnect because why are you at the gym so late? Why are the gym so early? Why did, and that's not going to start a healthy relationship. Yeah. Um, and I would also say, look out for their intention behind it. So if they're not prioritizing it, but you can tell that they say that they want to improve in certain ways, then I think that there's still room for improvement there. But you got to gauge how much bandwidth you have to encourage that person and try and incorporate incorporate that into your time together. But I would say like, don't red flag it. No, absolutely not. I would say really look at how do they look at self-improvement and what kind of daily practices do they prioritize? Because there could be some room and potential there. I totally agree with you ladies. And this is something that we see with the, you know, with our members, like they're, the emphasis they put on having alignment when it comes to the importance of physical, um, not just physical fitness, but like just wellness overall. Like, you know, if you're the type of single that's like, I never work out or like, you know, I rarely work out or, you know, it becomes harder to match you with high, you know, high quality singles because they're doing so many things, right? To improve their personal well being that they don't want to open their orbit, you know, to someone who potentially will be a deterrent or won't help foster that. Like, nobody wants to be a caregiver, people want partnerships. Right, they don't want to take on an additional burden. Of course, as we age in life, things happen, and you love your person, so you're gonna, you know, do what needs to be done. But you don't want to knowingly go into a situation like that where you know you think the person is going to be more of a burden than an asset or enhancement to your life. So, singles definitely prioritize taking care of yourself. Whatever wellness looks like for you it may not be lifting weights every day it may be mindfulness meditation walking you know getting that heart rate up you know just making sure that you're doing something that prioritizes not just your wellness but that self-care element as well i think is so so important